hola i am here let me take these off um so tomorrow i will be going to a dominican hair salon i feel like i rush my hair too much like my hair has become like a bother for me although i still deep condition and all of these things wash day for me i just want to do like this and it's done like I don't want to put the time into it anymore and I feel like my hair is suffering because of it um if you're wondering uh, my hair looked real good earlier today I took a nap a two-hour nap and this is what I got y'all know that my hair curl up it usually do not stay straight what's up with that but anyways we shall see what happens tomorrow at this salon. The first time I went to a Dominican salon, I vowed not to go back. The heat was just unbearable. Unbearable. Unbear. The girl did not understand when I was like, stop, wait, hold on. Is that kind of burn? Like when it gets to you, it takes like a whole five seconds to like cool off that kind of burn. The results were great and everything. It was natural back then, a few years ago. But that, oh, I vowed. But I heard good things about this hairdresser. I forgot where I left off. But, yeah. So I don't plan for her to be my um, every wash type, you know, hairdress or anything like that this is just a trial and if she does good i'll probably hit her up every now and then when i feel like i want to or need to you understand so my plan is to go in there to get a wash um um a shampoo a conditioner a deep conditioning treatment a set and a wrap i have no interest in blow drying my hair and flat ironing my hair like none i don't want that kind of heat because underneath that hooded dryer that's going to be heat enough and i feel like that should be enough to pull my roots straight because my roots kind of growing out already not kind of growing out already and you know to straighten off my ends a little bit that should be enough if the set is good and after that when that comes down wrap it up they say rain in the morning. I'm just hoping that by the time I want to go to that salon, which is about maybe 11, 30, 12, that the rain chill out. So I will pick up when I am on my way over there, I guess. Hey, so it's about 12 o'clock and the only good thing about doing my hair today is that it may not have much people in the salon so here's hoping that's the case guys I'm on crunch time because I have to pick up Anna in two hours and 20 minutes please let it be empty Cutting it a bit close to pick up Anna. I don't want my child to know aftercare and they charge me $50. <laughs> I underestimated the time. I was in the chair. As soon as I got there, like it took me <laughs> 10 seconds to start my hair from the time I got there. So I was like, okay, I'll have enough time to probably pass back by the house. Ting, ting, ting. Yeah, right. I deep condition for 10 minutes. Um... Yeah, deep condition for 10 minutes and then I was under the dryer with the coolers for what for probably like 30 minutes so that took some time 30 to 45 minutes so that took a little bit of time 
and then she did put the blow dryer to my hair I was like you gotta do that she was like you want it straight right <laughs> I'm like I guess so she put it but she knew that she was hot and she didn't keep that on my head like my experience last time she did not keep that on my head she knew it was hot it was quick I did not get burned it was pleasant actually it was pretty pleasant so I am mad at that I was not gonna get it wrapped but I'm like you know what um, I want to see that fall you know that fall from the wrap I want to see what my fall look like if it'll be type stiff or if it'll be nice and flowy so we'll see when I get back um, to the house um, yeah, I'm walking and talking guys walking and talking the wash was rough um yeah the stylist who washed my hair she was her hands were very heavy very heavy <laughs> it felt rough while she was doing it but after my scalp felt really good and she touched places that they didn't even touch at dry bar so i appreciate how thorough she was a little rough but I appreciate that my hair is my scalp is squeaky clean again they didn't put anything on my scalp just a little bit of I don't know what that was oil or something like that on the hair itself just, oh, shucks, I don't just mostly on top so I will have to go in and put a little oil in my scalp um, a little bit later on and I'll probably wrap up for like three nights and then after that just let it be so um, when I get back home I will take this wrap down and we'll see what we work with hey it is much later now the last time you guys saw me was around 2 30 it's like 7 p.m. now I got caught up okay I got caught up all right so let's take down the wrap I hope I don't have any dents or anything like that just gonna go in while i'm taking these down i want to address that i saw somebody ask me what i'm wearing on my lips i can't remember who i can't remember what video um but when i get those notifications on my phone this don't happen all the time but sometimes when i click on the notification and it takes me to the video there's no comments like i see nothing um when i come out and go into the video you know through youtube and all of that i still don't see anything all right so that's what happened with that comment it just got lost i do not know where it went to so i don't know if i was wearing this lip gloss that i have on now this is super old when i tell you years and years i probably shouldn't even be wearing it but if I have one, like a little bit of makeup, it probably will be most likely this on my lips. I line it, my lips with a brown liner. And then I put this MAC lip gloss on in Oh Baby. Looks like this. Like a brownish, bronzish thing with glitter. So that's what's on my lip right now. If not that, it'll be like another gloss or um, even a clear gloss. Sometimes I just like to put on there. So I am taking these down. I didn't want to sleep with these clips in my hair. I'll probably wrap my hair back up. Not probably. I will most likely wrap my hair back up. But I did not want to sleep with the clips because I'm seeing a little bit of denting. And if I sleep with it, that's even more dented. Oh, my hair smells good. Let's see how this wrap falls. Ooh, sticking on my lips. Ah! Really? And I can't even do it with the clips. That's real life. That is real. Oh! That's real life, honey. That's real life. Oh, yes. Better than dry bar results. I could see that, like, off the money. Low-key, I'm mad I took it down now because I feel like I wouldn't get this wrap. 
this good oh, yes nice and light it does not seem as dry and when I went to dry bar it has it looks like it has a little more sheen to it it um, more bounce although it's light it feels heavier um, it is pinned straight for now. Oh my gosh, I'm so mad. I took my head on now. I feel like I wouldn't get the rough cut. <laughs> but I couldn't sleep with the clips and I really mm, could have been a little bouncier. You know, it still have a little delay in the, you know, it, have, it still have a little bit of a delay in this. But yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I'm just like, oh. All right, middle part, girl. Is it in the middle? Not really. It's pinned straight. I'm kind of glad she went in with that blow dryer. She has a lot of control over that heat and that blow dryer. Yes, she did that. I'll go back. Not in any rush to, but I will go back. Yes, I'm feeling this. Go back. I just hope I don't sweat tonight. Because if I do, I'm going to be really mad. I don't want to put no more heat to my hair. So hopefully I don't sweat. I'll put on the fan extra high tonight. Um, and all of that good stuff so that is it i would say that i like this results more than the dry bar um results because with dry bar they don't do nothing you understand it was 25 dollars to get this done 25 dollars okay 25 dollars um to do all of this they do more and your hair come out looking better i'll go back she did that Oh, hold on. All right, guys. So I will see you all. Am I blurry? In my next video. Thank you so much for supporting. And I'll see you later, Jays.